Hi, I'm Daniel with Off-Grid Permaculture, and today I'm going to show you how to measure the open circuit voltage and the closed circuit current of your solar panel. In order to do that, you're going to need a multimeter. This is an inexpensive multimeter I got off Amazon, and it'll work just fine. Of course, if you have something a little nicer, feel free to use that as well. For larger current setups, which we'll talk about in a second, you may need one of these clamp meters, which can measure either up to 40 volts frequently, and this one can measure up to 400, sorry, not volts, amps, so 40 amps, or up to 400 amps for this one. Whereas this guy can only measure up to 10 amps. So if you have a 10 amp or less system or panel, then you can measure it with this, which is what I've got here. Or if you're measuring the output of a much larger system, you're gonna need one of these. So let's start with the open circuit voltage. To measure the open circuit voltage, first be sure to turn your meter to DC volts, which on this meter is over here. So volts DC is how you need to set it, otherwise it won't measure the right numbers. And then take your output of your solar panel or your whole solar array if you have multiple panels and uh, put one lead, red lead to red lead and black lead to black lead. There you go. So this panel is currently outputting 17.46, so just under 18 volts, which is this rigid open circuit voltage. Now to measure closed circuit or short circuit current, we need to adjust the meter to either the microamp, milliamp, or 10 amp setting. Now this panel is not going to be producing that much current because it's not very bright out today and it's only rated up to maximum a little over five amps. So I'm gonna set it to the milliamp scale, which is good on this meter up to one amps. It's very important that you check this though, because if you try to test it and the panel is outputting much higher than that, it can actually blow the fuse and you'll have to replace it before your meter will work again. Um, on this meter, there's also another input port. So if I take the input from here and move it to here, it's good for up to 10 amps. And that's, you know, a couple of panels like this put in parallel. So for this measurement, I'm only gonna need to use the one amp range. So I have my connection in the micro amp, milliamp setting, and I have my setting on micro, or sorry, milliamps is how we want it. And then we'll put in one lead connection, or one test into one side and one test lead into the other side. And now we have a measurement, so about 17, milliamps so 0 0.017 of an amp so we're not really producing much power because it's so cloudy and rainy today but this panel in the bright sunshine could be producing upwards of five amps and you can measure it this way now if you have a much bigger system you're gonna need to use one of these clamp meters these are great because it's a lot safer to use a clamp meter the unfortunate side is they're not as accurate especially at lower uh, current ratings they also do have a input port so you can use them to test voltage, temperature, and a bunch of other things. But for this, uh, today we're going to look at just the amperage range, which is yellow here. And it's extremely important that you look for a meter that measures DC. Solar panels and off-grid electrical systems are DC all the way until you get to the inverter if you have one. And many of these clamp meters only measure AC. So usually it'll be written on it, or you'll see either a DC as one of the settings, or in this case, A with two lines, one broken and one straight, and that indicates DC. So for this one, I need to change the mode by pressing the red mode button to DC because AC is the default. And then to make a measurement, all I would do is clamp it on an active wire. Now these wires would need to be connected together, which I'm going to do right now. There we go, so I've short circuited the panel and I can theoretically measure the DC voltage, or the, sorry, the uh, amperage. And I'm getting 0.1, it fluctuates, but about 0.15 to 0.17, which is pretty much what we got with the other measurements. This has been Daniel with Off-Grid Permaculture. As a community of DIY homesteaders and off-grid survivalists, feel free to leave a comment below and we'd love to hear from you. Uh, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, thanks for watching.